Finally time again for the Yonex German Open, the biggest tournament in my home country and I'm super excited to be here all week long. Also to uh, cover all the matches, the action here for the media team, but I will also give some insights with uh, some vlogs, some behind the scenes looks and behind me you can already see uh, a hall full of Japanese top players. They have uh, their practice session now in the main hall and yeah, now for the, for the afternoon and the evening I'm going to try to ask a little bit around what the players are doing to prepare for the first matches tomorrow or in two days and yeah follow me i'm already excited and hyped to meet some of the top stars So after watching a lot of training in the main hall, I'm now uh, at my hotel room preparing a few things for the upcoming week. But yeah, when the tournament kicks off tomorrow, of course, still a lot of players want to uh, train, especially when they have a rest day or maybe when they drop out or when they play in the evening and want to have a little session in the morning. So there are actually two practice halls right next to the main hall. And tomorrow and the day after, I also want to have a look into the practice halls, see um, who we can meet there, what the players are doing before a match or on a rest day. And yeah, interested to see what's happening besides the main action. So on my way to the practice courts and enjoying German spring, lovely. So I'm standing right next to four of the best women's doubles players in the world. They are practicing now Fukushima, Hirota, Shida and Matsuyama. So uh, yeah quite interesting how much world class we have in that practice hall at the moment. So Marvin Seidel here for a training session before his first doubles in the evening. Just uh, tell us quickly what you did on such a day in the morning to get ready for your match. Um, yeah, I think it's all about uh, just getting the body going a little bit, um, doing some stuff that you feel like, okay, you might need it in the evening. Um, of course, some surf situation, um, some quick racket stuff, quick feet. Um, and yeah, it's overall to just get a get a feeling on court and to have done something before a match in the evening. So what would you say intensity, how much percent intensity in such a session? Uh, maybe 50, 60 percent. Um, more the load in total than the actual speed. Like I try when I have the exercises that I actually go full speed. Um, but like for just from the overall time that I do or be on court, then uh, the time is just shorter than in normal sessions. Okay, anything that you realized you felt good with the record or what is your, do you take anything out of the practice session for the match in the evening? Uh, not really actually because I know that it doesn't really matter how it's in the morning, uh, if it's really bad or really good uh, in the match, everything can be different. So uh, I will just go on court without any thoughts about this practice now and uh, just enjoy it when I'm on court. All right, we're all looking forward to the German duel in the evening and best of luck. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the practice courts here in the main hall for seeing some final match preparations downstairs. 
Hans Christian Wittinghus is getting ready. He will play youngster Alex Lanier in his <coughs> opening match. Also Kundle Wittitzarn, second seed in the men's singles category, doing some coordinative exercises. Yes, how are you? Yeah, no, good, good. So I found Kestis Navikas, coach from uh, Alex Lanier, or you're coaching Alex later in his matchup against yeah. uh, Hans Christian. I uh, just wanted to know what is he doing in his last, I don't know, 30 minutes, one hour, how, how much prior does he get to the practice courts? Uh, yes, in the beginning we do the mobility and the joints exercises, and then we go into the functional stretching, then we go some rubber bands with, uh, with resistance, and then we basically go through the routines that we do like every time before the match or before the practice, we have the routine to prepare for the practice, some exercises where, where Alex feels uh, good, what gives him the confidence, and that's where we that's where we want to go in and which helps actually to get into the mindset uh, before the game. And how intense is the on-court stuff before you go into a match? We want to go at least a little bit into the game intensity. So he goes into the match and he's not surprised about the speed, but he is ready for the speed. Okay, so but the on-court things are a bit more individual, like he is doing what he feels best with or is it also a lot that you give him things to do before a match? We've worked that already a long time before this. We are working about the warm-up like every day. So basically we want not to make it something special for the tournament, but we want to practice like every day, the same thing almost, which helps him to be like in the right mindset to, to start the practice or to start the match. So yeah. And last thing, what, what do you think uh, what will happen when Alex plays a really um, routinier, Hans Christian, he's uh, I don't know how much, how much older. Um, hmm. What are you expecting from that match? I expect to win, uh, but most of I admire like Hans, uh, yeah, like Hans Christian for how long he is in the circuit. Uh, we just talked to him, he is uh, I, double times older than Alex, but, uh, but uh, I feel that, Ax, yeah, that Alex is also an exceptional player and uh, I, uh, I expect that he will go one step further and he will use our like, development things that we used to practice uh, the last month. All right, thanks a lot and thanks. we're all looking forward to that match. Thanks. So Hans Christian already started his uh, match preparation and here's the screen. They always have, the, all the players always have an eye on the screen because there you can see how far the matches are at the moment. You don't have a certain time, you um, always have a followed by match. So he is waiting for uh, court number three to finish and that's also I think a bit tricky. I will also ask him later how he handles that situation that you could potentially play in 10 minutes but it could also, uh, could also take like 50 minutes, um, always depending on the match before. So yeah, we're going to talk uh, with that about him after the match. And here are some other top stars coming up soon. As you can see, top seed Lisija also getting ready here with one of his teammates. Yeah, that takes a lot from his legs. Oh! 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 Oh!
you were down 1914, I think, in the first game. And was that the moment when this uh, experience kicked in? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Actually, I, uh, I tried to stay calm, but we actually talked about that situation before the match as well. That uh, if I could stay calm and stay disciplined, there would be chances where I could get like a, a string of points. So I kept on believing throughout that set that if I could just like play a little bit uh, higher quality, then I would have the chances of actually putting together a string of points. Uh, of course, you still need a little bit of luck because if he hits one good winner, it's uh, basically over. But yeah, I, uh, I prepared for that situation. So I think that's what actually brought it home for me. We also met down in the practice on, at the practice court, mm -hmm. and it's always I think a bit tricky because you do not really know at what time you play. I think mm -hmm. also the yeah. match prior to you went pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, was it how is it like if you are don't have that certainty and how do you prepare for that? Yeah, I was uh, caught by surprise that all of a sudden uh, that match was almost over. Uh, so I actually didn't get to hit on court as much as I uh, would usually like to. Um, but <laughs> I've. Uh, I prepared well apart from the, the hitting part, so I still felt okay going on court, but like, it doesn't really trouble me too much that we don't know the, the start times. It's been like that for 18 years for me now, so I, I think I'm just used to it. I always start my warm-up at the same time when they reach 11 in the first game of the, uh, the match prior to mine, I will start hitting on court. So I start my uh, routine before that, when the match before me starts. But I start hitting at 11 at the first game, and then it, it doesn't matter if they go to two or three sets. I just uh, stay a little bit warm and uh, hit a little bit every now and then if I feel like I need it. So I want to end this vlog here. Um, as you see, the tournament action already started. It was more about the preparation, how to get started at such a tournament. But we will, of course, also dive deeper into um, what's happening now at the rest of the week, heading towards the finals on Sunday. If you want to see more from the German Open, we also are doing a lot of content on social media. I'm responsible for the YouTube channel, so there you find slow motion videos, match summaries, also behind the scenes looks. So definitely check out our YouTube channel. We will link all the things in the description below and then see you for the next vlog. Bye bye.